Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Simply Learn. In today's session, we'll discuss what is bias in statistics. So, let's start by discussing the agenda for today's session. We'll start the discussion by discussing what is bias in statistics and some examples and reasons for the same. Then we'll move on to discuss what is types of biases and the examples to understand these types better. So, Without further delay, let's begin. What is bias in statistics? Bias in statistics is a term that is used to refer any type of error that we may find when we use the statistical analysis. We can say that it is an estimator of a parameter that may not be confusing with its degree of precision. The reasons for this bias may be that the method by which the data is collected may be faulty or the way the question is phrased may be not accurate. Let's see what are the types of biases. The first one is the measurement bias. Measurement bias refers to any systematic or non-random error type that occurs in the collection of data in a study. Another term that is used for this type of bias is the detection bias. This difference in observation might be because of an unseen reasons. Some of them can be the error that happens while recording the data or the leading questions that follows after the data. The error can also occur because the respondents gave the false answers. Suppose you conduct a survey to determine whether or not someone voted for President Obama. Some may have voted for him, but the way the question was put confused the respondents and they answered wrong. In this case, the measurement bias can occur. The next type of bias is the selection bias. When you choose your sample or data incorrectly, selection bias occurs. There can be many reasons for this, but the most common reason is when the people try to work with the data that are easily available. And because of that, the respondents gave the false response. Let's try to understand this concept with the help of an example. Suppose you are conducting a poll to determine how people feel about the current ruling government. You have gathered all the information that you need. Unfortunately, many of them say that Twitter is the primary source for the information. Now, social media is not considered trustworthy because it is in public opinion, but their friend's opinion. As a result, this type of data can be classified as a traditional selection bias, easily accessible, but not for unrepresentative and specific subsets of the overall population. The next type of bias is the self-selection bias. Self-selection bias occurs when the respondents are allowed to decide entirely for themselves whether they want to participate in the survey or not. The reasons for this error may be same that the data may be collected which are easily available. Let's try to understand this type of bias with the help of an example. Suppose you want to assess a program for improving the eating habits of the shift workers. You put up posters where many workers night shifts and invite them to participate. However, those who sign up may be different from those who don't. They may be more health conscious to be with which is why they are interested in a program to improving eating habits. If this was the case, it wouldn't be fair to conclude that the program was effective or not. In this case, a self-selection bias occurs. Recall bias Recall bias occurs when respondents' recollection of events is inaccurate or incomplete. It's especially problematic when it comes to retrospective service question. For example, suppose you are asked for a football match that happened 3 years back. Now, you may remember the goals and the good moments of the football match and but might not be able to recall the bad moments or the fouls or the mistakes that happened in that match. So if you try to guess work here, in this case a recall bias can occur. Another one is the observer bias. When a researcher subconsciously projects their expectation onto the research, this is known as the observer bias. In this case the beliefs or expectation of an observer can influence the data that is collected for the study. Let's try to understand this observer bias with the help of an example. Suppose there is a certain news channel. Now, in the race of TRP, certain news might not be accurate or maybe even false. But to prove his point, he may try to prove that this news is correct and the data that are given are accurate. In this case, the observer, which is the news channel, is trying to force his opinion on the data. And in this case, the observer bias can occur. So, with this, we have discussed all the types of biases with the help of an example. I hope this video was useful for you. If yes, please subscribe to our channel to 
never miss an update. Until then, happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.